at the forefront of renewable energy storage systems. Batteries will be in utilities, factories, cars, offices and homes. Batteries will be everywhere. But that can create new problems of its own. By 2025, lithium demand is expected to increase more than fivefold. The availability isn't that amazing. If everything goes into lithium ion batteries, you know, if you have uh, electric cars all over the world, power stations all over the world, we're starting to hit supply constraints. If supply becomes an issue, cost will go up and they're already expensive. Lithium batteries have another major drawback. If they catch fire, they're nearly impossible to put out and release toxic gases when they burn. Lithium is a metal that cannot just burn in oxygen, but it also, once it's burning, can react with nitrogen. So the unreactive part of air. So researchers around the world have been looking for alternative battery systems to solve these problems. We looked into an alternative around 2015 and set up a new company called Gelion, so gels and ions. In 2015, Thomas Mashmeyer's team developed their breakthrough battery, an older battery chemistry of zinc and bromine with a new twist. The battery employs a gel instead of liquid and delivers several advantages over lithium. First up, uh, it cannot catch fire which I think is very important when we use the batteries inside buildings, in the basements of buildings, etc. The chemistry is best suited for daily charge, discharge cycle, and effectively the battery self-repairs itself in that process. So it stays young for a very long time. If I want to recycle, I can just open the battery up and wash out the electrolyte and reuse it and there's no wastage and there is no toxicity. We are not good for a racing car, but we are brilliant for any solar storage that is just in a house, commercial, industrial, utility scale, solar lamp posts. They're very, very good for that. Because zinc and bromine are more abundant elements, that helps lower costs, an important factor for scaling up storage. Things available all over the world, very nicely distributed. And bromine is, of course, in seawater. So the effluent of desalination plants, full of bromine, I can get it from there. Of course, I can run them with solar power. So you can see there's a nice cycle to one's thinking. They're going to be a lot cheaper uh, than anything out there. And that will totally change the energy paradigm. It allows us to use power and store power in a decentralized fashion. It'll make small villages, towns, shopping centers much more autonomous from the grid.